<laughs> That's a fact. You guys ready to hand out some grades? Let's yes. do it. G. Bush, you're up first. They, I thought Tyvus was going first. This is defensive grades only. I after thought, yesterday's confusion. I thought so. Tyvus was going first. I go first. It don't matter. G, we have yours pulled up first, so you're going to go first. <laughs> it's, it's already on the screen. It's the order of the <laughs> graphics. Hey, listen. Let's get, <laughs> let's, get, let's get to it. G. Bush, let's get to it, right to it. We're not going to play no games with nobody. First of all, stopping a run. Your grade should – there's only two eligible grades here. The only eligible grades are an F or a D minus, <laughs> given the fact that you thought maybe Joe Woods was the cause of it. <laughs> Now that he's gone, you can you can justify D minus. Yours but look like mine. <laughs> when you look at the stop and the run, that's a super F. I listen. F minus. It's, it's yeah. If I could give him lower than like a fifty percent, I would run with that. Um, when you talk about uh, pa- stopping the pass, I got him at a C. But the only reason I got him at a C, it could have been worse. If they would have mixed it up a little more, <laughs> if the opposing teams would have said, yeah, we're going to go to the 50-50 Stefanski attack, that could have been double Ds right there. And I'm know, not talking I... about uh, I'm not talking about inappropriate things. That could have been smooth <laughs> Ds both times. So I'll give him a C right there. And you got your, your, your shining light is Martin Emerson. He played well. Salute to you. Now let's talk about uh, uh, wrecking havoc, creating – uh, pass rush creating no I watched these teams this weekend and these quarterbacks had to step up move around dive they had to, it just you just didn't know where it's coming from and the Browns when you talk about 70 sacks for the Philadelphia Eagles 70 mm. Miles Garrett had 16 and a bunch of guys had one one and a half two and a half our number two sack guy had three sacks that that that's a losing hand in spades. <laughs> How many you got, Tyvis? I got two. How many you got, McNuggets? I got one. How many you got, Jay? That's, I got, that's really bad. We like, going bored. <laughs> like, Listen, I don't I don't ever remember seeing a unit like I that. I didn't before. know Taven Bryant had three. I don't guys, remember that. Guys, <laughs> our number one leading sack man, or number two sack man with three, there were guys in the NFL this year that had more sacks in one game. Yeah. Yeah. Then they had for an entire season. And it came from the and defensive kept, tackle spot. And too. they kept, and they <sighs> just, and, and, and obviously when you have that least amount of sacks, that means you need help. That's like if, you're, if your son is going to school and, and they they struggling and they come home and get a report card and they teach you be like, yeah, you, mean, you know, Mr. Bush, your son turns all his homework in. He studies real hard, asks questions in the class, but he still get D's. That means you need extra help. Yeah. So if you got three sacks, two sacks, one, and they trying hard. Wait a minute. That means you need a little more extra help. Give me some pressure. Set me up. Do me. Give me something here to work with. How many? How many sacks did Jadavia have? It was like two, two and a half minimum. Okay, so so remember, two? remember, I came on this show and said that one of my buddies said that he considered he could be considered a bust, and y'all said no, no way, no way. Well, that was coming off a nine and a half. <laughs> no sack way, season. no. No, Ty, That was con- that was coming off a nine and a half sack season. Right, right. You so can't. you said, are you saying right now that Jadavion committed grand larceny last season? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But uh, I'm still not. Gonna call him I was a just bust. curious. Just I mean, curious. think about that. He touched somebody 28 <laughs> times. <laughs> That's it. Jamarcus Russell was a bust. No, no. Yeah, yeah. It, You're right. Pause. Yeah, yeah big pause. Uh, super duper. But I'm saying he 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 put his helmet on somebody 28 times. He had 28 tackles, bro. Do you know? You That's not he, even two a game. Well, he was only coming in on third down, so. <laughs> That's after he said, I'm only putting we, money down. We were in third down a lot this <laughs> year. <laughs> and then we go, go, let me finish my report card off so I can give it to you guys. But uh, consistency is mint here. I mean, you were consistently inconsistent. You fixed up some of the MAs that happened in the beginning of the season. Like, you know, but, you know, when you look at the offense, this single handedly drugged the whole entire year down. And it happened from game one, quarter one. And I, I, I just, you know, hopefully Jim Schwartz, the, the thought process, Jim Schwartz comes in. You can coach up a couple of the guys that went, what didn't look too good last year. You might be able to, th- you know, shore things up scheme-wise. Maybe bring one free agent in that, that's a big-name guy that, that he can hang his hat on in the middle um, and, and kind of fix it up because, you know, there's, there's a lot of things between D-tackle between another defensive end, linebackers, that they got to figure out. And then you got Newsom, who looks like he just – you got to convince him that he needs to play nickel. Like, right, you got three outside guys and no nickel guys. So, 
I don't know. Um, I, th this was one of the worst Browns defenses I've seen in a long time. And Dequell, when he's on, he talks about it. When you watch the film, it's even worse. Guys look like they're just doing whatever they want, running around. No, It's, it's the old electronic football. Remember that? Oh. You, 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 you line up all the pieces, and then you turn on the vibrating field. <laughs> and the guys are just going helter-skelter all over the thing. And that was the Browns' defense issue. My God, that was the first video game, Tyvis. It really was. I don't think I was alive. <laughs> they had a little cotton ball that you'd put in the quarterback's hand and oh you'd pull the arm gosh. back and throw it. And if it hit the receiver, it was a catch. Like, it was impossible to complete a pass. Y'all's generation, Jay, had a great imagination. Oh, my God. <laughs> all we had up, to. Y'all <laughs> sit up with boxes. We triple and challenge <laughs> ping pong on the TV in black and white. Yeah. Uh, I would actually like to play this football Call me game. John Boy. You put a cotton ball in. Put a cotton ball in the quarterback's hand on the game. This was the electronic football. You're too young. Can you call up that? I sent you once. I sent you a tweet of electronic football. Yeah, that's. I don't know if you can find wrong? it. That's you've never. Long, long time so honest that's to God, honest to God, Tyvis does not know what I'm talking about. Where I can't find it. Tyvis, uh, Dequell says check your phone real quick. Yeah, he harassed me. <laughs> what yeah, is wrong well, you with you? Deserve it. What is that supposed to be? What do you mean you see a flaw in Tyvis Powell? <laughs> <laughs> he sent me the same message. What is wrong with you? <laughs> what am I flawed about? He has no flaws. I haven't even said anything. I ain't did anything. Hey, leave, Here's a chance for you to be flawed, Tyvis. Let's see his report card, which is even leave more harsh than the Earl of Knee Jerk. So <laughs> hey, y'all leave Tyvis alone. He got a barbershop shirt on today. He's good. Oh, yeah. He has the blessing. Oh, yeah. He represent. Is I represent, man. I see you. So run stop F minus. It was just, it was completely <laughs> terrible. Like, minus. I don't even know if it's possible, but that's, I mean, you know, Jason tells us all the time that this was wow. statistically one of the worst run defenses in the history. Since, the, since it's been tracked as a stat, that's how bad they were this season. So there's no reason to not give them an F minus. Let's call it what it is. We lost a lot of games this season due to the fact that we could not stop the run. So I'm, a, I'm calling it accordingly. I'm calling everything a spade a spade. As far as the pass defense goes, you know, it was – I give them a C plus because, you know, before this season – Obviously, it was a bunch of coverage busts. Do they have the talent? Absolutely. They got the guys there. And it was games where, you know, towards the end of the year, they start making plays on the ball. They start getting interceptions and stuff like that. But it came a little bit too late. You know, if they would have played with that type of pass defense and that energy throughout the whole year and not have those coverage busts, we'd be about three games better than what we are. So I'm going to give you a C plus because I see that you got the potential to get it done. Y'all just got it done too late in the season. What's the next thing? Wrecking havoc. <laughs> that's actually, of the that's actually kind of funny. Wrecking havoc. Okay, so the problem with the wrecking havoc is we weren't very successful in the blitz game this year. We had nobody that could blitz really well. Y'all best person that wrecked havoc was getting double team, even triple team. And somehow, some way, he still managed to pull 16 sacks. The sacks numbers tell you right there how bad it was. If he couldn't get it, then it wasn't going to get done. And if that's the case, there is no havoc to be wrecked. Now, granted, y'all was able to punch a couple balls out, you know, get a couple fumbles and stuff like that. But as far as sacks and big plays, it, it just wasn't a lot. Let's just say that when the defense came out, we held our breath a lot this season. Uh, and the last thing, consistently, what did I say? Consistency. Actually, I should have put y'all consistency a B because it was consistently bad. That's probably what it was. So yeah. I, I could have actually given you a B there, but I'm going to say consistently good is what we're referring to. And yeah, it just, like I say, it started off, it was pretty much what it's been. You start off the beginning of the season trying to figure things out, a lot of miscommunication, a lot of bad things happening. And then as the season goes on, you get to the last five, six games, y'all finally pull it together. But it's just a little bit too late. So consistency is actually the number one thing that needs to be drilled because if you even look at it from just a quarter breakdown standpoint, first quarter, y'all good. Y'all good in the first quarter. Second, third, and fourth, it's like y'all get fatigued and y'all just forget things. Y'all oh, not great for four quarters, and that's what the problem is to begin with, that y'all can't consistently put a whole game together, and that's where Jim Schwartz needs to come in and make an impact. Man. I, I, If I ever go back to college, I'm going to take your class, and I'm going to take your <laughs> class, because both y'all are the easiest gra graders I've ever seen. Uh, bro, you each gave them wow. one out, right? Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. But you give them. He gave him. Oh, minus. I can't wait to see this. This is crazy. <laughs> I know, wait, this before is you show crazy. my I before you show be, before I show my grade card, yeah. I want to I want to preface it this way. <laughs> oh my goodness. We had players on the defense when the media suggested that this could be a top five defense. 
They shut us down. Oh, no, 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 no. We ain't going to be top five. We're going to be number one. Ravens. That way, that's what you got to say. Sure. Who comes in and say, yeah, we're going to be number three. Yeah. Don't say anything. Oh, don't no. Say, you oh, know what? no, no, no. You don't, have to, you don't have to put a number to it. Just say it's our intention to be the best defense we can be this well, year. Well, the thing and is, if that is the top five, a top ten, a number one, they put the words number one, well, top you, defense, in you, our they did. ears. You, you put it out there. No, because you want to be, you want to hold yourself accountable. If I say it, that means that's, they just, but that's just me. Did they? If, hold I, if I say it, okay, oh, Eli, I'm gonna do it. Okay, Eli, did they hold themselves accountable? Well, you don't do that because you've been waiting to see. I have been waiting Listen, to get that in there. Eli had one bad play. Did he smoke a cigar after Sunday? <laughs> oh, no, yeah. he, he smoked he, it after the he already, win. It was already smoked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly he ain't right. had no more. Right? Yeah, he ran he, out. He, I, you're right. I will some Eli stuff later. Don't worry. I, I, I will. I will give you that. These dudes. These dudes was going over the top, bro. They was really told like they, they was, set the bar high. Did they say that? Yes, they did. I don't recall. Yes, they did. In training camp, McNuggets was it Miles Garrett? Miles Garrett Clowning? said, "No, Miles Garrett said, and I'm, I'm not. It's not word for word. I'm paraphrasing. When they asked, how well does this defense have to play with Brissett in before we realized Brissett could be very capable of running the offense? He goes, we only need three points. If, if we do our job, they're not going to score. Put it on our shoulders. We'll carry this team to watch. And at one here. point, that's one what. That's said, the real. That's real, though. Yeah. Well, <laughs> that's not just. That's not, not what happened. No, that was fantasy. But that's that's true. What that he was, said. That was fantasy. <laughs> Here's the deal. <laughs> you remember the valedictorian in your high school class? Yeah. Do I G. remember Bush? the valedictorian? Yeah. In Every, we all do, right? I don't. Yes. We had expectations for that person. If we were in a class with that person, we knew that that person was going to come in before the test, sit down, and be like, I didn't sleep last night. I studied all night. Did Miles Garrett say those comments? Yes. Miles did Garrett, Miles Garrett Miles do what Garrett he said? Miles Garrett made comments. He did what he said he was going to do. Did he lead this defense to greatness? He did his job. So there's 11. You got, I, when you're, I, I can't when, control what the other team the, do. When you're the best player on the team, you have to set the standard. You have to uh, – what's allowable on this defense? You know what I saw? You know, you know what happens. One thing I saw on this defense was one of his defensive line mates call him out in the media. You know what happens in, in this game when you worry about trying to overcompensate for somebody else's I job? get that. But I'm not saying help them do their jobs. I'm saying when you're in the huddle, when you're in the middle of a drive – when you're in the midst of a game in the last quarter and it's go time, mm -hmm. what are you saying and doing to making sure that everyone understands the urgency of the moment? Is, is he a vocal guy? I, I feel like that ain't him. He's the best player on the team. I don't think he's a vocal guy. I, I, he, he, he was he's vocal a, enough to a, tell us they were going to be the top-ranked defense. He's a lead-by-example guy. Wasn't he vocal enough to tell us that they were going to be He did say that. <laughs> I, I'll, I'll look at it this way. He got – if you look at his job and what he did – if his numbers is comparable to every other defensive player of the year, his numbers could be good or as better than Bosa's, his numbers as good or as better as any defensive lineman. The problem, I think, with the Cleveland Browns was when I watched these other teams, they got multiple layers of dudes in the secondary that's leaders that play second guys that's leaders at, at the linebacker position. Every level. Every level of the field, they got leaders. And the Browns, that's why I was just so so disappointed that they genuinely just punted on this season because when you just looking at it and you've watched football for years, you knew they did not have enough. And they just walked into the season like, oh, this, yeah. This yeah, is maybe we can just I hide our uh, deficiencies with Miles Garrett. Yes. Well, so I, I, here's my grade card. And again, I when I handed out my grades, I'm grading, the, I'm grading the valedictorian. I'm grading a defense that everybody on our panel agreed, no brainer top five. There was not a discussion or a debate yeah. about the defense and how good they were going to be. Were there debates about the position of defensive line? Okay, yes. I'm about to Interior say, don't, don't, don't you do but that. Ty, you sat in that chair okay. and you said this is going to be a top ranked defense. We, that was what the expectation was. But I did. I'm I not did, making that up. But I did say. What the flaw was you said and what was going to happen. I'm worried about the inside of this line. And and I think everybody was, but we were like, well, we got Miles Garrett. Oh, oh Miles well. is on the edge. So we yeah. all looked at what we had and said, it's enough. It's enough. So my grades are being handed out on a valedictorian level. My valedictorian came to class with no book. <laughs> they forgot their notes. They yeah. didn't know the test was today. The pass stop is a D. Yeah, and I'm going to tell you why in a second. I, I, I'm interested. Run, stop, F. 
<laughs> Easy. Why, I didn't why think not, about that. Why not F minus? Uh, you know what? I don't even know that F minus is you the thing. Exist. I just made up F minus. Yeah, I didn't know that F minus. It was it was that because bad. Here's why. Uh, you know, A minus is a thing because in the in the point scale, you get you know, to 91. But 90. an F is zero. An F is zero points for the grade point average. Yeah, 59. Yeah. F minus doesn't give you like minus 0.5. Right, right. If it did, I'd give them an F minus. Okay. Run stop easy. Not only were they bad this year. There was a stat that Jason gave on run deficient, a uh, run run efficiency, def- run defensive efficiency, that put them dead last in the 25 years they've been keeping that stat. So I didn't even have to think about that, I just, and I just I let my eyes do the grading. I didn't right. go back and look at papers. Okay. I didn't go back and look at the all 22. I just said, how they do? F, awful, stopped nobody. I watched Atlanta. Pull a guy who was selling popcorn in the first half out of the stands, put a helmet on him, and gash us for 10 yards every time he touched it. He yeah. was literally the practice squad guy. Yeah. So, um, F. Yeah. Pass stop. I, the reason it wasn't an F is because I did see times when they seemed to be able to get on the same page. But I also saw times when they were all looking at each other with the shrug shoulder emoji. You know what I'm talking about, Ty? This yeah. right here. This was the emoji I would use for the pass defense. And, I, and what happened? And Jay, how many, if you want to get to where these other teams, I ain't seeing the playoffs. No, one not one. T- not one time. No team. We had do three, that. four in one game. No team does that. Nobody does that. They so, all know the play. I'm just grading them on the scale that we came into the season with. This was my valedictorian, mm-hmm. and on pass defense, they were looking at each other, going, "Algebra? What's that? I don't even know what algebra is." So yeah. D. Wreaking havoc. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> that that, that it made you laugh. That <laughs> was the best one, time. It Who worded that? Laugh. Anthony, did you word that? It Shout made out to you laugh. I literally time. was like. Shout out to you for like, that. Like, here are the players that I saw this year wreak havoc. <laughs> TJ Watt. The Bosa's. Yeah. Uh, Micah Parsons. Yeah. Like, Every, he's very much in that neighborhood this year. About 10 dudes at on the Eagles. At times, Miles Garrett can yeah you can but he's and he, I don't know if this is true I'm just gonna ask you Tyvis because you have experience <laughs> we all dismissed Jadavion Clowney as like all oh, bitter bitter get rid of him send him home when you look at those stats can we call up the team stat sheet on the sacks again give me 60 I've gotten really good we've called it so much I know exactly what number this is I know <laughs> when you know what Jadavion Clowney was this is what he said our defense is geared for one guy to get home. We're trying to put this dude in the Hall of Fame. They said that. Look at that. Now, now here, is he wrong? Nope. Here, now, hold on. Here's what I will say. I went back. I had to go back and touch down on it and look at the game <laughs> to see if this, because this is egregious as a player. It is. If, it's terrible. If, if somebody tell me we scheming it up for one person and they, they we going for self, that is, bro. You look around. People, people will go to the, the general manager on well, that. What got him sent home? Uh. There are times where Miles Garrett is being literally triple team, and Jadavian Cloudy has a one on one, but he's getting locked up. Now, I, 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 so now here's the here's the thing about Miles Garrett though, because I got so much respect for his game, his physical tools, and I know what he can do. See, Michael Parsons should not be more effective than you because when you look at Miles Garrett, Miles Garrett on just penetration alone should be dominant in a run game. I need to see, when you look at Miles Garrett's stats, you need to see... Some games he's had no tackles. 24 tackles for loss. If you got 24 tackles for loss, that means you didn't hit a running back 12, 13, 14 right. times. To go with your 12 To sacks. go with the 12, 16. If you gave me... The, and he can do that. But we don't, we don't, but see, we don't see that. Do they we got, don't see that do in the run game. his TFLs? What are his tackles for loss last year? Exactly how many sacks. tackles he got as sacks. a quarter of sacks. Is this just sacks? I just, I, I think there was a time or two where he got to a, lot, a running because back in it, the backfield. It is sad that he'd had games but, with, like, so no my, my, my point there is. <laughs> I got the number. You want the number real quick? Yeah, how many do you have? Miles Garrett had 16 sacks and 18 tackles for loss. See, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if that's two tackles for loss plus 16 sacks or if that's eight. No, 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 no. That's, that's including that's the sacks. That's included. That's it. So there's two times there needs to be consistent times. And I where, can. I think I can remember both. Yeah. Of that, you know, that horizontal pursuit down the line, and he got the running back before he got back to the line of scrimmage. But to your point, I need that dude to be dominant 
in another phase too. You can't be yeah. a one trick pony. Well, he was playing on one shoulder. I understand I that. Give him that. And, and uh, but you know what? He that. doesn't get points for that. No, he does because that was self. Because he did that to himself. He Facts. did that to himself. So I think my point. And by the way, I don't want to make it seem like Miles. I'm saying Miles Garrett's terrible. No, 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 no. Ain't nobody saying that. I'm saying Miles Garrett has one of the most incredible skill sets of any player in the league today. Because of that skill set, I expect more. I just expect another level. Yeah, I, I hope I, <laughs> no deep, no offensive coordinators were were doing this at three o'clock in the morning on Saturday. I don't know who's going to stop this Browns defense from wreaking havoc. But it, but it's but it's hard, Jay, for me to understand. <laughs> Y'all it, funny for putting that out there. It, it's hard. It's Reek hard. It me. It's hard for me to understand. Also, Chief, we got breaking news. Hold on, this is important. This is important. First time in UCSS history, for the very first time. Wow. Jay, you have won an internet poll. We put up a, a 60 second poll. Who was the had the most correct grades? <laughs> and the people's champ has been defeated. Jay, who wow. respect, typically comes in last. See, hold on. Keys. See, Depending, hold on. Yeah, that's right a little. The people listen. hate Jay. Jay dominated this poll. And how you gonna take the bell? <laughs> I'll tell you why I'm gonna take the bell. I am the contrarian of this show. Yes, you are. I, I listen. I'm a huge Cleveland fan, but when they suck. I'm saying it with my chest. I'll give How, you, what was wrong with my grades? I'm taking your class, bro. They, they just didn't You're handing C's out here. It was right. They You're said giving you was, C's out. You said consistency, they should be a B. They said we well, if they right. consistently because, because they're suck, consistently what? bad. Then you get an F. <laughs> like if, you, if you can sit, if you do, if you bad all the time, well, at least I know you're gonna no, be bad. Consistently inconsistent is an F. <laughs> That's you a, cheated. <laughs> you know why you cheated? You didn't listen. You know if you announced the 60 second. I'm gonna bowl. take it. I came. Yeah, I didn't even I, know. I'm gonna take it. If you announced it, but I, I do take great pride in winning. I'm gonna take it. I came because last. I know that I, Jay, I, there's no way G Bush comes to last. I know this. <laughs> I'm going to finish last in every poll we do. Yeah. <laughs> he, I, has, I, he has literally finished last every I'm poll we've ever knives done. out. And the fans can't take that. Yeah. They, they can't so take you, that. Three. He, you know he, what? My, I, I gave you great information to why. As Jack Nicholson <laughs> once famously said, you can't handle the truth. But that three Fs. Like that's, I, that, that's the truth. Not, my report card is the truth. My report card is the truth. No, you want to give a B for consistency. I didn't right? give you one. No, why? <laughs> Pull Thomas is back up. Let's see. Oh, well, Pull Thomas is one sec. But do you know why? Because <laughs> I, I was right. <laughs> Not only was Jay right on a lot of these, but Jay had two built bars for breakfast. Built bar, and guess what? You get a jingle. You oh, win the belt, you, you get a jingle. Wow. Eddie, take it away. They didn't gave him. Because when you the... need a snack. To get you back, there's only one thing to choose. I don't recognize Reach the song for yet. a bill mm. far, and you cannot lose. What song is it? 15 grams of protein and low calorie 